What's up everybody, this is Dr. Nick with Leverage Media and today I'm in San Francisco. I am on Lombard Street, which is the uh, most crooked street, I think, in the, uh, in the country. Um, so I'm here because I wanted to talk to you about why you need to make sure that your, your marketing is always diversified. Um, so when it comes to you know Facebook marketing, Google marketing, um, SEO, uh, you know anything that you're going to be using, any of these platforms, YouTube, any of these platforms that you're going to be using, things are always changing. They're always putting curves in the road. They're always making it. Uh, you know, their number one goal is to monetize. So you get used to something, something's working, it's going great, and then all of a sudden you have to adapt. And the reason why you want to have a, a diverse um, uh, amount of marketing out there is because if something like just stops working altogether, you know, three years ago, uh, Facebook ads, not, not so much Facebook ads, but like, uh, you know, the discount offer first visit that every chiropractor now runs, those worked a lot better than they do now. Uh, they're becoming super saturated. Every local business is running one. And, uh, and you have to do things that allow you to stand out. Now, Facebook ads are still just as effective as they always were. It's just about the offer. It's about the message that really matters. Uh, when when uh, Google, you know, 10, what was it? Probably about uh, 13 years ago when I, when I uh, got our website, I was the first uh, chiropractor in our town that had, that had like a real website, uh, maybe even like a website period. And so I had kind of a, a free run of it for a long time. I was the first one to be doing Google ads, uh, did those maybe 10 or 12 years ago. And, um, and so for a long time, it was easy. There wasn't a lot of competition. Um, you know, it was just, it was kind of like you, you did anything and it would work. Uh, well, now it's just become, people have become more savvy. There are other, um, everybody, everybody that, that, that is out there, you have a competitor who right now is thinking how to get better at marketing, who to hire, um, which one is gonna get me the best results. And even though you might be at the top of something right now, uh, doesn't mean that it's gonna, that it's gonna last. Uh, SEO, for example, you know, SEO used to be like the whole first page was just organic results. There was no uh, local map listing uh, in the very beginning. Then they then they had like seven people in the in the local maps, but like the Google ads were off to the side. They were in like a different shaded box. Now it's like organic is pushed so far down the page um, after Google ads, after the local box. You know, Yelp has gotten into the the first position on almost every local search now. Um, so SEO that was amazing five, six, seven years ago, now it's like, you know, the, the click through rates, the, even the impressions of if, uh, if a thousand people search for your city, state and chiropractor, I would guess that maybe only half of those, uh, searchers even make it down to the organic listing. I think that they probably click on something, uh, before they even make it down there. So, uh, so just because something is working now doesn't mean it's going to be working in a year. Uh, things that worked a year ago don't work now. So just be sure that you're diversifying uh, your message, diversifying your marketing, and also trying to uh, start to control more of your traffic. Uh, you know, there are three different types of, of traffic. There's traffic that you own traffic that you can control and traffic you have no control over. So the, the traffic that you own is gonna be basically be your email list, um, your customer list, um, traffic that you, and you can you know mail to those people, you can email those people, you can text message. It's basically first party data, like you own that data. Um, the, uh, the, the traffic that you, uh, that you control, that can be things that you basically target. So like your, uh, your website, um, if you run Google ads, if you run Facebook ads, the problem with, you know, Facebook or Google ads is once you stop running them, they, they stop showing to people and they stop working. And then the Google, the, or I'm sorry, the traffic that you don't own, that's going to be, uh, you know, people just finding you randomly, whether it's organic SEO or, um, or referrals or just people stumbling across you. Uh, so you don't really have a lot of control over that. Um, but the more that you can, can you can turn that uh, traffic that you can control and the traffic that you don't control into traffic that you own. So trying to get people that are consuming your content or landing on your uh, on on your online presence to be able to try to 
turn that into either a customer or into an email address so that you can continue to, to talk to them. So uh, just be sure that you're you're being diversified. Don't, you know, you, you don't wanna uh, have your marketing look like this street where it's like every six months you're having to, to zig and zag uh, because the, the one traffic source that you have just isn't working anymore. Uh, so stay diversified, uh, add value to your community. I can promise you that you'll be okay. So if you need any help with that, let me know and we'll see you on the next one.